everybody, I'm Susan from Senior Style. Welcome to Vlogmas number 24. Woohoo! Christmas Eve. Oh yeah. And when we were little, we used to bug our mom and we'd always say, Xmas, Xmas for Christmas. She always hated that. And we always. <laughs> Ah, oh, fond memories of Christmas past. Gotta love it. Really do miss my mom. God bless her. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be fabulous. Because when I hit 500, I'm doing a very, very spectacular giveaway. So make sure you don't miss out, like all the videos, share them. And if you refer a friend, then you get an extra entry. Just let me know. It's pretty pretty simple. We're not going to make it uh, complicated where you got to share and do all that stuff. No, that's, that's crazy. All right, so let's go ahead and get into Vlogmas 24. All right, let's start with the... Reese's advent calendar so let's try to find 24 all right it's right here all right we got a red one okay that's pretty cool all right let's see what we have for 24 There we go. And that's the end of the advent calendars. All right, we got 24 there. It snowed a lot in BC, and uh, it was really remarkable. All the streets are like plowed, you could actually get around. So we went up to Seven Oaks Mall today in Abbotsford. And uh, I got Ted a present, and um, we have one unbagging as well. So, and I'll show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. So, I was pretty excited about it. I love my Dollar Tree. All right, so this is lamb comb. And we'll see what this is since I can't see it. Bonus. All right, this is eyeliner pencil. These are the best ones. But I got to say, I really am loving the Chanel one. The Chanel one goes on super easy. This is the uh, crayon. And I'll leave all the details below, basically. But yeah, these will go for like a long, long time. They're well worth the money. And uh, they last uh, at least a year, year and a half. So highly recommend that. All right, let's go ahead and get into the L'Occitane. And this has been a very cool advent calendar, I have to say. All right, except for there's so many colors, it's hard. All right, found 24 is right there. Okay, what's this one? Hmm. Yeah, I think it just goes to 24, I believe. Yeah, I think it just goes to... Yeah, I don't see 25 on here. Yeah, it must just go to 24. Okay, that's cool. All right, let's... Hmm, that smells good. This looks like some sort of oil. All right, and I'll leave all the details in the description. All right, let's go ahead and get into the Dollar Tree. All right, so I got some... Uh, nail polish remover $1.25 Canadian 
wet and wild and this is really good um, clear coat this really works good it goes on really super smooth I did break down and get a manicure set so I'm gonna try that because I'm trying to grow my nails out my nails are super thin but they are growing see so I was like really surprised so try to help them out as much as I can always a must cotton balls these are the best kind and I did get a couple of nail polishes it's kind of a reddish color kind of pretty and this is like a real bright orange so that should go with my Elma isn't that pretty yeah two dollars hello no brainer all right so that was my Dollar Tree haul and let's go ahead and get into the, um, I think this is from the shopping channel, but we'll take a look. This may be Ted, so let me take a look here. Yeah, they had some really cool um, watches from like different countries, and it came with like different coins from like World War One and Two. So um, we ordered one for. Ted for Christmas, so let's see what uh, we have here. Hmm, nope. This is something totally different. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, this is what you were looking for. Your, um, his watch. Oh, good. Where you pry off the back and such. So yeah, we ordered this like, oh, what, a month and a half ago? No. And then, at least. Yeah. And then this one is really cool because you know how like um, you have watches that um, you can't get the, um, you want to adjust the, the band? You just put this in there and push it in and it pushes out the... Um, the little stem you know like that's in the side of your bracelet watch and this is metal I wouldn't suggest getting the plastic one we had one and it it broke unfortunately because it's not metal so um, yeah so that's what he got in the mail I thought maybe it was his watch and coin but all right so that's even better because he's been waiting for that for at least would you say at least a month Month, yeah. yeah about a month okay and then um, I got him a surprise for Christmas so I hope he likes it we went to the bay and the lady there was super nice she gave um, look at all these samples Wow one two three four five Ted scored on the samples yeah. so he got Hugo Boss Wow, he got one in a million. Wow, pretty cool. Gentleman Jean Vaji, that is amazing. Here's another one, and then she gave another one here. Wow, these are really nice. Oh, Jean Paul. Ooh, that's pretty so these are great gift ideas so if you guys want to um, get your your man some perfume any of these basically would work out really perfect but I highly recommend this Jiva G gentleman that stuff they have different kinds the wood what was it called leather and wood yeah the leather and wood was Ted's favorite. All right, so he got all these samples. Wow, you did pretty good. <laughs> I can't even get one sample. They see me coming and <laughs> nope, you ain't getting nothing. And this is what I got him for Christmas. Gentleman G by G. And this is the leather and wood version. And uh, 
I'll leave all the information below to make it a little bit easier, but this stuff is, is a must have. All right, so happy Christmas Eve. Um, I may be doing uh, the 25th, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we don't really celebrate Christmas per se. We just get each other presents and enjoy each other basically. So that's the way we kind of do it. So how do you guys do it? Do you have a tree? Do you decorate? Do you just get presents? Do you just tell the other person what you want? Do you make it easy? Do you have, you know, a bunch of things that you do? Special things maybe? Traditional things that you do every, every year? Let me know in the comments below. Other people like to hear about it too, so please do that. And until next time, thanks for watching. Susan from Senior Style, from a senior point of view. And thanks so much for this Vlogmas. It's really been fun. It's been my first Vlogmas. I think it went really well. So leave uh, any comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Merry, merry, and happy new year. Be safe. Bye, guys.